Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This video is about why female guppies die after giving birth. Okay, let's get started. Speaking of that, all of my guppies died and only one female guppy is left alive. And my two new full red guppy. I also bought 12 zebra danios, 5 purple, 3 pink, 3 yellow, and 1 blue. That's all for the update. So why do female guppies die just after giving birth? Guppies may suddenly die just after giving birth or even while giving birth. This can happen for various reasons that I am going to cover in this video. Some of these reasons are preventable. For example, by reducing stress, keeping water conditions at their ideal parameters, and etc. Others may not be preventable. The labor of your guppy should go smoothly, but sometimes due to external factors or some pre-existing conditions, problems may arise that will cause the death of the pregnant female guppy. Here are the most common reasons why your female guppy fish may die just after releasing the fry. Guppy fish can release a lot of fry when giving birth. If everything is in order in your aquarium, females have no issues releasing the fry. However, difficult labors when the female guppy has trouble expelling the fry do occur. There are various reasons why this happens. Fry gets stuck in the bird canal. The female becomes stressed out because she has been moved or handled in a way to induce stress. Labor complications due to bad water conditions. When you buy an already pregnant guppy from the pet store, the simple act of moving her to a new aquarium where water parameters are different from her original tank can be stressful. Ideally, pregnant female guppies should be left undisturbed and should be made to feel as comfortable as possible. Signs of stress include erratic swimming, refusal to eat, fading colors, and many more. Technically, any major behavioral change you may notice can be a sign of stress. So keep an eye on your female guppy to notice any signs that may be cause for alarm. Sometimes when your female guppy fish dies after releasing the fry, that isn't necessarily caused by the pregnancy itself or stress factors. If you got her from a pet store, it's possible that she'd been sick before you even took her home. It is also possible that she could have become sick while in your care because of various factors like improper water conditions, unstable temperature, a parasitic infection, or a bacterial infection. Bad water conditions can be a significant stress factor for pregnant guppies, but so can inadequate water parameters, especially when moving female guppies to a new place, just as they're about to give birth. If water parameters are bad or inadequate, you increase the chances of something going wrong during labor because of the high stress your guppy fish are experiencing. Breeding boxes can be useful when you have a larger tank and you don't want to set up a separate tank or you simply don't have the time to properly set it up. You can set up a hang-on type breeding box even if you have a small aquarium but you will need extra equipment to have the water circulate through the breeding box. Either way, while useful, breeding boxes can be stressful for a pregnant guppy fish, especially if it's too small or there isn't any place to hide. Ideally, you shouldn't keep her in a breeding box for too long, only for the time it takes for her to release the fry. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos just like this, leave a like and subscribe. Bye!